I'm Meg Dillon, and I'm the Director of Cochlear Implant Clinical Research at the University of North Carolina, and I am a research audiologist that conducts clinical research investigating new indications for cochlear implantation and optimal mapping techniques. I am Andrea Overton, and I am the Supervisor of Adult Audiology. My name is Kevin Brown, and I am a neurotologist, which is a ear and skull base surgeon in the Department of Otolaryngology at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, um, and uh, one of three cochlear implant surgeons in the adult program. I think the greatest strength that we have in the adult program is that we have great relationships uh, between uh, three major areas, um, and specifically we have a great relationship between us as surgeons, um, with the audiologists that are involved in diagnosing the hearing loss and determining the severity of hearing loss and whether it's appropriate to consider a cochlear implant. From our administrative staff, nurses, audiologists, and surgeons, everyone strives to tailor an individualized, evidence-based approach to each patient. And I think we've created a culture that really pushes each other to be the best so that we can provide premier hearing health care to all North Carolinians. I think it is critical to perform clinical research because cochlear implants are something that is a, an ever-changing field. And because of all the changes that occur in all the advances in technology, um, we have to continuously perform research to stay ahead of what um, we can actually provide to patients. Our research participants are important in the process because they allow us to investigate these techniques in a patient population that we are serving. A lot of these patients do it because they want to improve outcomes for other patients and not just experience a benefit themselves, um, which is very inspiring. Not only is this patient um, historic in being the 2021st patient, um, but he's also participating in a study where we have learned what patients can benefit from cochlear implantation. And those findings led to an expansion of the candidacy criteria for cochlear implantation to include patients that have normal hearing in their other ear. The fact that our ability to communicate with people is one of the main features of what makes us human. And being able to provide patients with a technology that can help them regain the ability to communicate in a meaningful way with their family members and friends, particularly at this time of year, I think is critically important. It is incredibly humbling that so many patients have chosen UNC for their cochlear implant care. It is an honor that we do not take lightly. I'm getting to the point now where um, I'm close to the uh, winter stage of my life. And, uh, and so I can, uh, I believe I'll have an opportunity maybe to, uh, to help someone else make a decision or um, encourage someone to get an implant. Um, it's just been amazing how uh, this team, really, the team, uh, what kind of impact they've had on me uh, in the short time that I've been here. And, and I would hate to miss out on it myself, and I'd hate not to recommend this to someone else. And to look back uh, just a few months ago to see how all this came together, um, I, did, I just could not have made the decision in another way.